10% fines value test on aggregate. In the previous video, we saw if the aggregate crushing value is 30 or more, then it is recommended to obtain 10% fines value. The apparatus used, the aggregate sampling procedure and the weight W1 of the setup in this method is the same as the aggregate crushing test. If you haven't watched the video yet, watch that video before proceeding further in this video. The link is available in the description. The apparatus, with the test sample and plunger in position, is placed in the compression testing machine. The load is applied at a uniform rate to cause a total required penetration of the plunger in 10 minutes. The total required penetration depends on the type of aggregates. 15 mm for rounded or partially rounded aggregates. 20 mm for normal crushed aggregates and 24 mm for honeycombed aggregates like expanded shales, slags etc. After reaching the required maximum penetration, the load is released and the whole material is sieved 2.36 mm. The fines passing the sieve is weighted and the weight is expressed in percentage of the weight of the test sample. Normally, this percentage should fall within the range 7.5 to 12.5 percent. But if it does not, a further test is done at a load which seems to be appropriate to bring the percentage fines with the range of 7.5 to 12.5 percent. Then, the load required to get 10% fines is calculated by equation 14 plus x divided by y plus 4. x is the load in tons and y is the mean percentage fines from two tests at x tons load. Thus, this load denotes the maximum load the aggregate can carry. Based on which suitability of aggregate is determined, which means when aggregate crushing value is higher than 30, we must calculate load carrying capacity of the aggregate. Thank you for watching. Stay tuned. The best is yet to come. Kindly do like, share, comment your views and finally don't forget to subscribe our channel.